Hey everybody, today's video is on blacklisting. Blacklisting is the mechanic that when you mulligan a card, you will not get that card back. It's designed to help mustering decks, but it can also be really useful if you need a card to pull off a combo. Let's say you need Barkley L's, but you didn't draw them, and you're not Bruvahoop. Then there are ways to get Barkley L's into your hand more reliably. So let's say I mulligan out a Mahakman Guard as my first mulligan. That means whatever card I'm going to draw will not be a Mahakman Guard. Let's say then my second mulligan is a Mahakama Defender. Well, then my second mulligan will not get me either Mahakama Defender or Mahakaman Guard. Then my third mulligan is a Dwarven Mercenary. Well, I won't get a Mercenary, a Defender, or a Guard as my third draw. The only bronze cards I can then get in this deck would be a Hawker Healer or a Dwarven Skirmisher. Now this deck is just for show. I wouldn't actually put these, this combination of cards in my deck. I'd probably, uh, we can take this out real quick. Make this a little bit more realistic. I put in some first lights. Yeah. Uh, so I have these, I have 15 bronze cards each of them being three of the same card. Now, if they had different artwork, for instance, like the Wild Hunt Riders or uh, the Queen's Guard, they all are counted as if they were the same unit. So don't worry about that. Now we're gonna take it into a AI game to kind of demonstrate this. Uh, where is AI? Single player, okay. Practice. We're gonna take this blacklisting deck, which is for show. Mahakam wasn't built in a day. We're up against Bruva Hoog. Interesting. My enough. folk have suffered much. Okay. And we see we have lots of different bronze units in our hand. We might want things that are not these bronze units. So I'm going to first mulligan out a, def um, a guard. Now I will not get a guard back on my next mulligan. Now, I will now I'm going to mulligan out the skirmisher. I won't get a, def a guard or a skirmisher back. I got Barkley Elves. I've done the guard and the skirmisher. Now I'm going to mulligan on a mercenary. I will not get any of those three cards. Does that make sense? Mahakam wasn't pulled in a D. Okay. Now I'm going to mulligan again with French Sister. We do what must be done. If I mulligan out the first light, I will not get. Now I'm going to mulligan out the defender. I got a mulligan. I got a guard. So it doesn't carry over to the different mulligans. So you can see, bahookies. with that, I've gotten almost all my golds and all my silvers, which is hilarious. Gotta move on, lads. So I'm going to do on. this now that I have my full set. And, Double yeah. and I can keep doing this if I wanted to. Uh, I've got to get this stinking mess in order. Um... I'm gonna put this down. Well, I'm gonna lose some card advantage though. Look at the hats! Come to puppy! We're gonna get rid of them. Boom. That was probably unnecessary. And we're gonna pass. We're gonna try this one more time. I'm just playing against an AI opponent, so I don't need to actually play out the whole deck. And we're gonna demonstrate that this again still works. I will be able to mulligan all those cards and get the hand that I desire. We do what must be done. Okay. This time I have a lot more of my silvers and golds again, so. Uh, we're going to drop out a first light. I will not get a first light again. Uh, I'll drop out the guard. Now I won't get a first light or a guard. Now I'll drop out the mercenary. I won't get a first light, a guard, or a mercenary on my third draw. I'm going to drop that out, and I got a defender. Okay. So let's say I drop we out the defender. Let's do done. see if what happens when I do the mulligan again. I can get my first light again. Now I can't get a first light. Or guard. I have all my silvers and all my golds. 
think pretty good demonstration of what it means to play a to mulligan and do blacklist. Now, I could do this a dozen times and I could easily get a hand full of silvers and gold. Now I was pretty lucky this time. Uh, so. I gotta get this stinking mess in order. Whoa, those gunners are in for a Okay, and I pass. I'm gonna place down Shiru and Siri. I'm gonna make my opponent go first. Yeah, I'm gonna just finish this AI game. Anything in particular interest you? Okay, we're gonna put down Siri. We want him to have units on the board before we put down Shiru. Oh, I could have also played Octopus. But I can always play Octopus. Octus will kill a bunch of those things. Okay. This will prevent him from playing a, a, po a buffing potion on this. I know it's an AI opponent, but... We're gonna play decoy on my Ziggurun guy. That's actually bad for him. Not exactly sure why he did that. Mm -hmm. Always willing, pal. Do, 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 do. Buffy time. Frickin' right! Okay, we get the you counter that. I'm not exactly sure. This is an AI, so he's gonna do weird things like that. Uh, we're gonna buff all this. The time Protect of the our white units. frost and white light is now. We get that thing clocked, and we win the match. So, that's how blacklisting works. I hope you guys like this. You can also use apply this with Nilfgaard if you really want a super consistent deck. I found that Nilfgaard is probably the most consistent faction. This is one of the reasons why I play Siri Dash in those decks. Yeah, and my next video will be on Nilfgaard. So, cheers!